Hi, I'm Elliot Glazer, and welcome to Two Jews Choose, where we decide whether something is Jewish or Goyish. Goyish technically refers to something that's not Jewish, but what it really means is that it's not for the Jews. I'm joined by my TV mom, Susie Esman from Broad City, and Curb Your Enthusiasm. Hi, Susie. Hi, Elliot. Are you ready to talk about Jewy stuff? <laughs> I am ready to talk about Jew or Goy. Okay, day camp versus sleepaway camp. Elliot, that's like the biggest no-brainer I ever heard. I know, but I'm... But I I wanted to see what you... Sleepaway camp is Jewish. People don't know that sleepaway camp is the most Jewish thing in the world. My husband would say to me, well, well I went to sleepaway camp. Wait, you went to a YMCA camp for a week. You didn't do a musical. You didn't have Oneg Shabbat. But sleepaway camp was the first place I did everything. From sex yeah. to drugs to everything. Was It was sleepaway camp. The beach versus pool. I always associate the beach with more Jewish because when we were kids, my grandmother had a bungalow in Rockaway and, you know, and then she lived in Miami Beach, and we always want to be near the shore so we could escape. Yes, <laughs> at a moment's notice. You know, but just a lot of care is taken to not track sand into the car. You're gonna track sand into the house. <laughs> What's the matter with you? Casinos versus OTBs. Oh, casinos are more Jewish. I mean, I'm sure that there's some low-life Jews that go to OTBs, sure. <laughs> but but the casino, you get free drinks and you 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 schmoozing, and it's a whole thing and <laughs> the depressing aroma of what goes on at an OTB is just, it's just goyish. Like there's just nothing Jewish about that. Decaf versus regular. I would think decaf is more Jewish. Is Always it decaf? Is. Make sure it's decaf. Is it <laughs> not decaf? I mean, you know, cause I was a waitress for many years. If it's not decaf, I'm a bit that, but that. And then my mom's favorite thing, which is, you know, decaf even has a little caffeine in it. It's like, yes. I know, I, you've told me before many times. <laughs> <laughs> Glasses versus contacts. I mean, look at us. The visual of the glasses, you know, are, are more Jewish than contacts. Because there's also the impairment. Yeah. You know, it, when you're wearing glasses, you're saying, I have difficulty seeing. When you're wearing contacts, you're pretending everything's fine. Right, which is such a goyish move to be like, I am perfectly fine, A-OK. -okay. For us, it's like... What, huh? huh? <laughs> Bacon versus ham. Oh, well, well, ham is way guyish. Like a big spiral baked ham? No, we didn't have that in our house. Most, if not all Jews, like their bacon so crisp versus like... Any kind of you fat. Know. We don't like any kind Ugh. of fat is guyish. Yes. Crisp is Jewish. Golf versus tennis. I think golf is more Jewish. You know, tennis, hey, you're sweating and you're schwitzing and you're running around. And you're exercising in tennis, whereas with golf, golf is for kibitzing. And so I... let, let me throw one out at you. Pickleball or tennis? What is pickleball? Pickleball is like the latest rage. All the old people in Florida play it. It's Jewish. <laughs> but you just, you just ended it. I got it. Susie, I'm so glad I got to talk about this stuff with you. You so get it more than <laughs> probably anybody else. Great to spend this time with you, Elliot. Mwah. Mwah.